Welcome everyone to the first event of the Black Ice Winter Series, The Icebreaker, here at the amazing Port Chambers Golf Course. I'm Tournament Director Errol Nye and I'll be taking you on a fly-through of the 18 holes. Uh, this image shows the layout of the course. If you're teeing off on holes 1 through 12, you just want to head up the uh, hill from the clubhouse and spread out. If you're on 13 and 14, you want to walk up through hole 9 and come back around the corner. Um, and if you're on 15 through 18, you walk down the fairway of 18, um, follow the path and you'll be able to reach the flat area down there. Hole 1 plays as a 194, par 4 for the men, par 5 for the women. From the tee shot, um, you want to put out quite a large shot, it's, um, it's downhill, uh, it's 145 metres uh, to the Mando. You want to stick either onto the flat golf fairway or just down this hill, because if you leak uh, left with a big hyzer, you're down on the other fairway with a tough upshot back through to the Mando, through a couple of little guardian trees. Going through the Mando here, um, you either need to place a shot somewhere along here with an upshot to the basket or a, um, a right uh, shot to the right which lands back up on the basket through these trees. Hole 2 is a 98 metre par 3. From the tee you want to put out a shot that has to travel through one of these two gaps. The safer gap being this gap that we're flying through now. Uh, you'll need a spotter on this hole because uh, all the thick gorse surrounding the fairway is OB but also a good chance of, uh, of losing your disc. You want to throw probably a forehand that uh, either travels around the safe shot landing here, the big arms can push forward to try and get a putt at the basket. <laughs> hole 3 is a 102 metre par 3. Um, it's pretty much a dead straight shot, however you probably want to play a flex forehand. You've got a mando tree off to the right, um, so you have to stay down here um, on the lower stuff. So you just want a forehand that travels, or a backhand that travels along um, these length of trees and then hooks back up here to the right with the basket you can see being an elevated basket on the stump but also on a, on a wee slope. Hole 4 is an 80 metre par 3, just a simple straight shot, um, it's uphill uh, with a low ceiling that you have to travel between uh, this double mando. So a big straight shot, flying through and travelling up towards the basket here with a couple of trees surrounding the green. Hole 5 is a 130 metre par 4. Uh, from the tee you need to travel across the golf fairway and land on an island fairway. The OB being the shortest cut of grass that we're just travelling over right now. The other side also being OB. So um, an initial shot that lands on the fairway and then turning up towards the basket. It's quite a narrow fairway so you need um, a nice placement shot two big gum trees with some overhanging uh, leaves and branches um, make it a bit more difficult. The OB surrounding the green is quite tight so you need to be pretty accurate. Hole 6 is a 65 metre par 3, the equal uh, shortest hole. Um, this one is going to be the closest the pin hole for the women's field. So it's pretty much just a straight shot with a hyzer finish. But as you can see, the OB marked by the red um, sticks in this video is quite tight. Um, there are two gaps into the green, that first initial one and then this back, gray, uh, this back gap. And you can see that the basket is tucked in behind these two trees. However, you can also see that the OB long is pretty tight. Hole 7 plays as a par 4 for the men's at 185 and for the women's at 155. It's the first of the holes that you can really let rip. You can see the women's tee off area here. However, you want to avoid probably the first half on the right hand side as it's very thick rough and you probably want to use a spotter. 
So it's a, a, a big shot to try and clear this quite deep gully landing out here on the flat area. And then a second shot to come in and just skip over the lip of this little rise down to the basket. Behind the basket is this bit of a steep drop off uh, with an OB ditch down the bottom. So uh, speed control is going to be a must. Hole 8 is a par 3 for both the men and the women's. 98 for the men's um, and 68 for the women's. You can see those two stumps over there behind the tree. That's the women's tee off area. So it's basically just uh, again a big straight shot with a high as a finish. Um, on the left there there is a very deep little ditch which plays OB and the basket sits atop this little mound here coming up in the video. You can just see it poking over the top there. Hole 9 is a 78 metre par 3. It's a tunnel shot, however there are a couple of avenues in and around the trees. So basically a, a straight shot through these trees. Um, the ditch here plays out of bounds so you'll want to clear that as well and land somewhere up here near the basket to give yourself a putt for a birdie. Hole 10 plays as a par 3 for the men's, 4 for the women's. It's 140 downhill. Probably the shot on the, on the course that you can really open up as there's not much OB around. A little bit off to the right. So it's basically a, a, big, a big shot. Try and get as close to the basket as you can. The basket's on top of a stump, an elevated basket. And there is this slight gully down on the, uh, the right hand side which could make an elevated putt or a bit of a death putt coming back. Hole 11 is a short technical par 3 at 65 metres. It's basically straight up hill, um, the basket being on another stump, another elevated basket. Hole 12 plays as a par 4 for the men and 5 for the women. It's one of the longest holes on the course. It's a big throw off the tee, try and clear this gully. Again, you don't want to leak right as the, um, the rough is very rough and you're likely to lose your disc. So big throw, try and get out over this gully, land here on the flat. And then your second shot is to get um, up towards close to the to the basket which plays on the right hand side of the uh, the fairway um, in behind these two gum trees. Hole 13 is a relatively short par 3 at 70 metres however it's deceptively downhill. The, um, the basket is basically halfway between the the tree on the right hand side and the OB long grass on the left. The OB carries around behind the, the basket as well, so you don't want to leak long. Hole 14, Hole 14 plays, plays as par 4, 225 for the men, 135 for the women. It's the most downhill shot of any of the holes on the course. There's no OB right or left, However, you probably want to use a spotter as you can get into trouble pretty easily. Those with the big arms can carry out down onto the fairways and the rest of us will be trying a placement shot to stay on the fairway. The women play off the, uh, the women's tees that we just flew over. A second shot is down onto the fairway. You have this bit of a mound on the right hand side that you may need to carry and then just into the basket. Hole 15 is a par 3, 78 metres. Um, it'll be the CTP for the men's field. The most direct route is to pick a gap among these trees um, and get through to the other side. The, the basket is then off to the right um, over behind one of the gum trees. 
There is a potential root up and over the top of the trees if you've got a really big arm. Uh, the creek plays OB behind the basket and the, uh, the bunker off to the right and the green further right also play OB. Hole 16 is a uh, par 3 at 78 metres. Uh, the tee shot here, you have to play down the creek and try and land on the other side. There is a mando tree on the right hand side there, so you have to play left of the mando tree. So uh, a decent drive, avoiding the creek and landing here on the green to give yourself a putt for birdie. Hole 17 is uh, par 3 at 80 metres and the main feature here again is the creek. Uh, this time the basket is on this a little bit of a, a rounded area that points into the creek. So it's basically a straight to hyzer shot but pull it up before you land in the drink. And finally, hole 18, par 5, men's 220, women's 180. The men play off uh, the long tee, um, and there's a mando tree on the left. The fence on the right is out of bounds, and the creek and beyond is also out of bounds. So your first shot is to try and either clear the mando or land here on the fairway. The women's tee is just off to the right, up against the fence. Uh, they also need to clear the mando and the creek. Once over the creek, it's just another couple of big shots with the basket um, hidden in behind the last of the gum trees here on the right. The fence is out of bounds and is just long of the basket. Thanks for watching the video, um, hopefully this will help you prepare for the tournament and we will see you soon on the day.